ओके थैंक यू पूनम गुड इवनिंग ऑल दिस इज द मोस्टली द टेंथ और इलेवेंथ पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन ऑर्थो टीवी एंड फेसबुक लाइव आई वेलकम प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर हर्षद अर्गेकर हु इज प्रोफेसर इन आर एन कूपर मेडिकल कॉलेज and i will now i will uh, i welcome also dr butala uh, who is our faculty in dy patil medical college dr dar will join soon and uh, harshad can we start yes sir surely yeah yes sachin start your presentation yes sir uh, good evening sir uh, i am dr sachin i will be presenting the hip case uh, my patient 41 year old female resident of mumbra housewife by occupation came to dr dibai patil hospital with chief complaints of pain in right hip and difficulty pain in right hip since 2 years and uh, difficulty in walking since when and half year my patient was apparently all right uh, till 2 years ago when she started complaining of pain in right hip which was incidence in onset gradually progressive uh, dull aching in nature aggravated on movement and relieved on rest and medications Uh, a patient had a history of on and off symptoms for a period of 6 months for which a uh, patient uh, uh, went to a lo- uh, on and off symptoms for a period of 6 months which was associated with uh, evening rise of temperature night uh, the pain used to increase in the night with history of loss of weight and loss of appetite for which the patient went to a local doctor where the doctor had Uh, done uh, had intervened and started her on a medications for a year uh, patient also complained of difficulty in walking for uh, one and a half year uh, 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 during which uh, she used to walk uh, for a distance of 500 meter without any support uh, and uh, which which was which gradually uh, decreased to a distance of a uh, 100 meter and 50 meter and after the 3 months patient was completely better uh, after taking medications uh, the pain uh, the pain reduced and uh, she was able to walk with the help of a walker uh, there is uh, at present the patient uh, uh, came with a, a complaining of persistent pain and difficulty in walking uh, which is uh, mm, for for uh, which is intervening with her day to day activities like squatting uh, and uh, sitting cross legs um there is no history of um, uh, uh, trauma there is no history of morning stiffness there is no history of any blood transfusion there is no history of uh, uh, covid 19 infection there is no history of any pox contact uh, in the past and there is no history of any family history of pox sachin <coughs> ask you one thing yes sir yes think the patient took treatment what treatment the patient took uh, sir so the patient gave me a uh, history uh, that uh, uh, she used to take medications daily uh, for a period of one month and she used to go to a uh, she used to get it checked with the uh, the prescriber every daily and which then changed to every weekly so i am mostly uh, thinking uh, it has a uh, anti tubercular treatment how did you know it is anti tubercular sir i asked her uh, uh, history that uh, uh, did she had any history of uh, uh, orange color uh, urination she said the uh, it was there the only thing there are many drugs which can give rise to orange color urine uh, sir uh, she gave she also gave the history that uh, uh, some intervention was done by the local doctor and then she was told to start this medications uh, for a year and she used to uh, go to that doctor and get it checked every uh, every day then she uh, got it checked every weekly initially it was for two months then they changed it So the chronicity of medicine suggests that it is most probably the tuberculosis drugs. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Sachin, uh, can I ask you a question? I am not very clear about the history. You said uh, first two years ago she had some symptoms, and then for the first six months, did she take any treatment or was not no treatment taken? 
No, sir. That time the, uh, it was the lockdown, so she didn't take any treatment. She was at home only. And after that, treatment. you said she started deteriorating as far as her walking range Haan. is concerned. Yes, sir. Uh, she, when did uh, AKT start? Do not AKT make it clear started. when AKT was started and how long is it going on? Sir, AKT was started uh, uh, after when she went. Uh, when she was unable to walk, after that, three months later, Achin, AKT was started. Is very specific. Don't give such non-specific answers. Question was when was the AKT started? When she went is not important. Now, how many months ago? Six months ago? Eight months ago? Twelve months ago? Or one year ago? That is the question. Sir, Answer the question. Uh, it was started one year ago. And uh, clearly, uh, bolo na, when she went here and when she went there, what does that have to do with it? Yes, sorry. And after the AKT, is she walking? You said there is improvement, relief of yes, sir. symptoms. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So since when has she started walking after the AKT? Uh, after the uh, three months of starting AKT, she started uh, uh, walking, sir. So now last nine months she's walking. Yes, sir. Last nine months she is walking. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. She is walking. Why has she come to you now? So right now she has uh, persistence of pain, and uh, mm. she wants a pain-free hip uh, without, and she wants to walk without any support. So she is ambulatory with what walker or with walker? walker? Yes, sir. She is ambulatory with the help of a walker. With the help of walker, is yes. she able to squat, sit, cross-legged? No, sir. Sure, huh? Yes, sir. Yes. Have you asked the patient? Yes, sir. She she cannot sit down, sir. Okay, so now she has only come for pain in the hip, and she wants improve uh, really uh, decrease in the pain and. Uh, uh, she wants to with a, she wants to walk without any assistance okay any other history you have asked sir uh, in the uh, past uh, in the family in the family history there is no significant family history uh, okay. uh, past yes sir hello about anti tuberculosis treatment is she a defaulter no sir she is not a defaulter sir. why it is important to know defaulter how do you found out that she is defaulter i asked whether she she is to uh, did she stop the medication in between uh -huh. uh, she said uh, she didn't stop any medication it was um, she had it she you stopped only after once the doctor Nowadays, all tuberculosis patients are to be notified. Yes, sir. Was she notified? Did you found out? Yes, yes, sir. She was notified. Sir. How do you know that she was notified? What is the confirmation that she is notified? Uh, sir, uh, she. Uh, Any third year PG? And nowadays they don't start the AKT till uh, the proper biopsy report is there or putum report is there. How is it started? Uh, she, so she gave a history of uh, when the procedure was intervened, intervening was done with the help of a needle sir, from the right hip. See, tuberculosis treatment now can be started empirically even if the report is negative as per the RNTCP protocol, number one. Yes. And if you should know if she is notified, like how we have got an Aadhaar card number, like that there is a number for tuberculosis registered patient. That number is, it is in the portal by the name Nikshe. And yes. that number is allocated to that patient who is taking AKT all across India. Okay? Yes, yes. Proceed. Uh, in the personal history, so she has a mixed diet. Uh, her appetite is normal. Uh, sleep is irregular, sir. Uh, there is no history of any addic addiction. On, on general examination, sir, uh, my patient is conscious, proprietor, and well oriented to time, place, and person. Uh, 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 temp uh, temperature is of a bright pulse is 72 per minute. BP is 120 by 70 mm per hg. And uh, the temperature? Yes, sir. How did you check temperature? So with the help of a thermometer. With the 
thermometer sir with the help of thermometer which thermometer so uh, the one which uh, pandemic thermometer that one which is electronic no, sir, the mercury mercury one yeah. mercury what are the sites where you check for temperature in the body so in the axilla then uh, uh, below the tongue then uh, and then uh, uh, rectal uh, huh no no sir uh, near the <coughs> near rectum you can say so here okay so which is the best method to know that the temperature is patient has got temperature or not of this three uh rectal so you speak loudly we can't hear you rectal rectal rectal, rectal. okay proceed uh sir on uh, so cardiovascular examination uh, uh, s1 and s2 are heard uh, there is no murmur on the uh, respiratory examination Uh, air entry is bilaterally equal. Uh, CNS: the patient is cooperative, well oriented, and cooperative to time, place, and concern. Uh, on <coughs> um, on a local examination. No, uh, no. Of the examination, what what are the tubercular stigmata you check for? On general examination, in any patient. Mm. General signs of tuberculosis. so uh, if there is any uh, disturb the uh, muscle wasting is there on we'll check Ma- that generalized muscle wasting manje both the thighs both the hips will be wasted no no sir if there is any lesion uh, or huh? abscess ah now the camera is perfect what what are the general mm-hmm. signs of tuberculosis which you must check in the patient mm-hmm. you know or you don't know sir sir no don't waste time if you don't know read no. it up proceed yes uh, sir on a local examination of the right hip i have examined the patient in standing supine and lying down position from 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 front uh, side and back uh, uh, on inspection Uh, there is a um, um, there is no there is no swelling uh, the, uh, uh, there is no uh, uh, scars or dilated veins or sinuses over the right hip region uh, there is a, a flexion uh, the attitude of the limb is in flexion and external rotation and in abduction uh, uh, then uh, there is a wasting uh, seen as compared to the other lower uh, normal lower limb Uh, in the thigh and the calf region and uh, the limb what is the position of the limb so it's in flexion and external rotation limb position and adduction abduction kya hai abduction is abduction flexion abduction external rotation yes where do you get hip or swellings in the hip joint where can the abscess tract uh sir the abscess can tract uh, 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 along the uh, scapula strangle, sir. And and uh, are you? Hello. These are basic questions, sir. Chin. Where can the infection travel? Uh, so, uh, along the psoas muscle, it can travel. Psoas, where upwards? <laughs> it can go in the pelvis, but where? Where are the sites? Ischial rectal. Ah, ischial rectal fossa uh, can go, and where it can be go? And. Uh, mm, Any about the ligament and. any third year can answer sachin 
you know yes. you and the other colleagues of yours i don't think even they would know why do you get referred pain in the knee when you have something in the hip do you think the abscess can trickle uh, along that the uh, it goes along the uh, obturator and nerve distribution if there is any irritation to the nerve due to the abscess so which part of the knee you will get that medial medial uh, anteromedial aspect of the thigh सुनील क्वेश्चन पूछो हर्षद क्वेश्चन पूछो थैंक यू प्रोसीड कम टू लोकल एग्जामिनेशन सर ऑन ऑन एग्जामिनेशन यू आर नॉट स्पोकन अबाउट लिमलेंड डिस्क्रिपन्सी sir uh, the limb uh, is in uh, lengthening is in, i mean uh, the uh, limb is in abduction and uh, that is the attitude of the limb is there any limb length discrepancy is there lengthening or shortening of the affected hip so there is a shortening of the uh, affected hip. i mean uh, on inspection there is uh, lengthening sir on inspection there is lengthening there is or on, lengthening or lengthening. Lengthening. on lengthening. inspection there is lengthening okay proceed come to local examination see you are saying there is lengthening listen listen yes sir yes. action abduction action rotation means which stage it is there is lengthening and this is there means which stage it is first stage first stage first stage, first stage means what synovitis ha huh? stage of synovitis what are the other stages Uh, so uh, there is a, a stage of arthritis, then early arthritis, then stage of advanced arthritis, then stage of uh, advanced arthritis with uh, subluxation only. And one more is there. Mm-hmm. Because ankylosis is last. Okay. 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 uh sir on on uh, palpation uh, uh all my inspector uh, findings of confirmed on palpation sir uh, uh there is uh, there is no swelling uh, there is no tenderness uh, the um, there is no swelling no tenderness also no sir <laughs> okay no tenderness what are the tenderness is you check where where you check the tenderness Sir, uh, or uh, or the bony prominence of the ACC. Means where you check? Over the GT, over the uh, GT. Then uh, over the te- over the trochanter, okay, one. Then yes. where then, is it? Uh, over uh, other bony prominence, uh, we will have to check for which the, which bony ASS. prominence is A- ASS. You think the abscess has gone into the ASS? No, no, no. Then why did we give tenderness there? What else will you check? Uh, so what the what is transtrochanteric tenderness? Are what is transtrochanteric tenderness? Sachin, you have yes. to know this, sir. So tenderness about the what are the tenderness points we check in a hip joint? Tenderness we look in the hip joint. कामली This he must know or not, Rohan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This he must ah, know. No, we are not aggressive. No, sir. Uh, nobody. He. No. None of us are. He should just answer. I never said anybody is aggressive. 
okay okay thank you proceed uh, sir uh, then uh, the uh, range of motion sir uh, the the right is flexion uh, right is flexion is from uh, is in fixed flexion uh, deformed is from uh, the range is from 30 to 80 degrees sir then uh, see we can't hear you yaar your mic has to be perfect sir the flexion hello yes so you we can hear sir ab bol bol talk loudly so the flexion is from uh, there is a fixed flexion deformity sir it is from 30 to uh, 80 degrees sir flexion the adduction is from uh, 20 to 40 degrees uh, there is abduction deformity of 20 degrees with further uh, abduction up to 40 degrees sir then uh, uh, internal rotation is 10 degrees and external rotation is 20 degrees sir. Sachin, what are you waiting for? You proceed now. Why are you waiting for somebody to prompt you? Just go on. This. Uh, then, uh, sir. Now uh, the uh, measurement, sir. Uh, on uh, uh, true length, uh, there is a different. Uh, there is a shortening of three centimeters, and uh, uh, was a uh, right length. And uh, on the apparent length, there is a uh, uh, shortening of uh, one uh, one centimeter. so there is a uh, the true shortening is more than the uh, apparent shortening is then why is that why is that sir uh, uh, there is a compensation sir no explain does she have flexion deformity Yes, sir. So if he has flexion deformity, sir, of uh, 30 degrees, sir. So flexion deformity may appear in shortening or in lengthening. Sir, shortening. Ah. Yes, sir. Flexion deformity, lengthening, na? Yes, sir. Sir, appear in appear in lengthening, na? No, no, sir. There is there is a shortening, sir. You you said 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 first apparent lengthening lag raha. You said it is in the synovity stage. Yes sir, yes sir. Uh, on, uh, on, uh, Abhi bol raha hai, shortening hai. Uh, on palpation there is a shortening sir. Shortening or apparent shortening? Can you define? Can you tell us the deformities she has first? Flexion deformity, abduction deformity, how much? So she has a flexion deformity of start. Start degrees. again. Summarize your findings again. Uh, sir, uh, in range of motions, the flexion is from 30 degrees to 80 degrees. Uh, flexion deformity of 30 degrees with further flexion up to 80 degrees. Uh, the abduction is from abduction deformity of 20 degrees with further abduction possible up to 40 degrees, sir. uh then uh, the internal rotation is 10 degrees and the external rotation is 20 degrees so our limb is in external rotation flexion and abduction yes sir yes sir okay. now you explain us the true length and apparent length how do you explain why do you take the true length from so we take the true length from the uh, uh, greater trochanter uh, sorry uh, asi to the uh, medial malleus true length or apparent length first talk of apparent length apparent length uh, we take from the hypophyseal sternum okay to the medial malleus right so she has a flexion deformity of 30 degrees and abduction deformity of 25 degrees yes sir 20 degrees uh, flexion mein kya hoga shortening yes sir aur abduction mein kya hoga then then sachin what is the position of the limb when you are measuring apparent shortening or apparent length how do you apparent length in apparent length uh, we keep in the neutral position sir uh, in uh, in while measuring the true length we 
square the pelvis and then we measure it no i am asking you how do you keep the limbs what is the position of the limb when you are measuring apparent length that was my question sir the both limbs should be identical sir identical manje kay and deformity as in the case of deformity has to be unmasked or deformity has to be masked when you are doing apparent length sir uh, at that time it is unmasked no you make an attempt to get the two limbs parallel you are not to force it but you try yeah, you have to keep that limb parallel to the body like the patient yes. would lie down where you are doing natural keep, position try to yes. keep the limbs parallel it may not be but you have to attempt you cannot keep like uh, faber ke jaise cross leg nahi baith sakta na patient yes, might say yes. i am lord i am lord faulkner so i will sit in the leg cross leg position but you have to keep it parallel yes so you yes. cannot you don't have to neutralize the deformities but you have to try to get them in, in parallel parallelity when so then you have to true sh- length you have to keep the other limb in the same position as the deformed limb as simple yes. as that yes sir. as parallel as possible simple yes sir. anyway there is a big uh, gadbad in your uh, true length apparent length and you are not able to explain it at all Uh, sir, uh, mm. so you started saying that it is stage one, and then you talked about fixed deformities. Does not match, na? Yes. Sir. So match. So go ahead. I think we'll get stuck here only. Let's go ahead. So, uh, so. Um, By the two lens and the apparent lens, uh, there is a shortening of two centimeter on the affected limb. So to confirm that, uh, I uh, I I did I did uh, some special tests. I I did bands. I checked the band triangle. I checked the uh, Neratens line, and uh, I checked the Schumacher lines. And Do you want oh, a medical reason for that, or you can go ahead and tell us the finding also? We have to ask. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, on the Brand Strangle, sir, uh, uh, there is a, a shortening uh, of the base of uh, two centimeters. On a, a Neratens line, uh, the uh, GT is above the level of the uh, uh, the line joining from the uh, great, uh, greater trochanter to ASS. Uh, sorry, it's still fibrosity t- in the ASS. and on the shoemaker's line uh, the line drawn the line is drawn from the greater trochanter to the ass which is further extended uh, over the abdomen uh, around uh, over the umbilicus the affected side was uh, below the umbilicus and the normal side was on over the umbilicus below. so and uh, go to the ass ha huh? yes sir Two meters line does not go to the ASS. It is from the tip of the trochanter. Yes, sir. <clears throat> the two meters lines from the uh, uh, tip of the trochanter to ASS. Then I further extended it for them. So is it important that they go below the umbilicus, above the umbilicus? Above the umbilicus. Point important. Yes, sir. It is important because um, if it's uh, um, if it's below, then it, it will suggest Food. that there is it will suggest that there is shortening. Suppose the shoe marker meet line meets in the midline, but below the level of the umbilical, both shoe marker lines are intersecting. Sir, then either it will be uh, no, bilateral, bilaterally normal, or there will be a shortening on both sides. Correct. How do you palpate the greater trochanter? How do you know that this is the greater trochanter? Sir, along the uh, shaft, uh, uh, femoral shaft, we go upwards, and the first dip where we get uh, that is the tip of the GT. Along the shaft, you go, and the first, what do you get? Uh, Sir, so there is a bony prominence. How do you know that is the greater trochanter? Sir, on, uh, move, on moving the limb, internal and external rotation, it's painful. We can uh, 
we it can perfect the you can't move the limb so other ways we can adapt the uh, we can adapt and then uh, the vitality becomes prominent there is only one method to measure anything there is no attempt so how can you adapt that you decide at the time of your examination that you will find a new method to measure something all these have been described and defined and they are standardized you don't have to discover new methods every time you examine the patient question answer to the question how do you palpate the greater trochanter how do you palpate the asis how do you palpate the ischial tuberosity standard there is no two method only one method you can invent it these are simple basic questions whenever you palpate a bony prominence you should go from a soft part to a hard part that is a simple way to do it Yes. Sir. Do you know? Yes, I know. Uh, How sir, do you uh, yes, I know. Sir, uh, from the pubic symphysis, we go medially along the line of the involvent ligament. We go upward the first bony prominence, which is spelled as the anterior superior iliac spine. So I oh. am discounting the word medial and considering you are going lateral. <laughs> oh, sorry, lateral, lateral. <coughs> Correct. Lat lateral. Lateral tuberosity. Facial tuberosity, sir. We have to make the patient uh, uh, in the lateral uh, lateral position. Then uh, flex the hip and knee to 90 degrees. Then along the uh, PSIS, we have to go downwards. The first. Again, I told you, na, there is a standard method. Now, why are you changing it to something which we have discovered? I told you go from soft part to hard part. अभी इतना भी तुमको समझ में नहीं आता क्या अभी इतना बोलने के बाद अगेन यू गोइंग फ्रॉम एस आई डाउन सर वो जो ब्लूटेल अब ये तो ब्लूटेल फोल्ड गो फ्रॉम द हैमस्ट्रिंग एंड पल्पेट अप वर्ड्स वेर यू एंड दैट इज एशियल डू प्रोसेस एनीवे तो निलेटन्स लाइन इज अ कंपैरेटिव टेस्ट और इट इज अ स्टैंड अलोन ट so uh, it is a comparative search nilatans line you compare to the other side no 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 sir so there is yes answer or no answer you already chosen yes answer the turn is gone now you choose a no why it is not a comparative test so because uh, uh we so we don't get the uh, measurement we we'll just see the whether it is touching the line or it is above the line so you can do it individually in one hip and make a conclusion no sir we have to uh, yes. we can why you can't yes you can make a conclusion yes sir can you do the same for brand triangle no sir for brand triangle no. brand triangle is a comparative test Nilatans line is not a comparative. Not, not a comparative. So, these are standard questions. These are not a something out of the ordinary. Yeah? Yes. Sir. These are something which you should uh, blindly, if you have woken up in the middle of the uh, night at two o'clock in the morning and ask, you should be able to answer without thinking also. Yes. Sir. This goes for all the residents. ये क्या है ये 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 These are if you if you get stuck on these questions in the exam. How are you going to go on management and how are you going to go on treatment part of it? This standard question is its a standard answer. We will ask you three standard questions. If you know the answers and quickly, we will not ask you any standard question because we know you are aware of all these things. To get stuck like you are stuck, where have we gone up to diagnosis, X-ray findings, and examination of of your treatment abilities? Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I think I have spoken enough. The Then I. Go ahead. Does the patient have deformities? Yes, sir. Hello. Not Does the patient have any fixed? I am not not able to. Does the patient have any fixed deformities? 
Sir, uh, no. He has only no, said no, no, no. uh, abduction deformity is there. Abduction deformity. The flex. So the flexion no, deformity no, no, no. is fixed flexion deformity or only flexion deformity? No, no, no. So only uh, flexion deformity. Flexion deformity. Only flexion deformity. What is the difference between the two? What is the difference between flexion deformity and what is the difference between fixed flexion deformity? The fixed flexion, uh, fixed flexion, de in flexion deformity, there will be further flexion possible. But in uh, uh, fixed flexion, there won't be uh, moments uh, further flexion. Which moments? Further flexion won't be there. Sorry, uh, extension won't be there. Huh? The basic difference, what is the difference between flexion deformity and fixed flexion deformity? Please uh, read it up. Proceed. Yes. But then I have... Uh, proceed, proceed. It is 9.40 now. Yes. So the, then I have Any other the, things you want to tell regarding this case? Uh, so how much test I have done, sir? To, mm. uh, to see the flexion deformity, sir. Uh, I okay. And, and uh, I also perform chilling test, sir. In his uh, line, in that uh, we don't. No, no, we don't want academics. All those lines and all everybody knows. Basic question is. What is the difference between flexion deformity and fixed flexion deformity? Please read it up. Now tell me other findings in the heap apart from what you have told. Huh? Uh, uh, this are, this are the positive findings. Hmm? Any other things you want to comment in the in, on your examination? Motion. Telescoping. So no, um, it was very painful for the person. See, uh, Sachin, you are confused. Okay, you told this is a case of synovitis stage one, yes. and then you are telling that patient has got a flexion deformity. How do you differentiate between synovitis and how do you differentiate between arthritis? What is the difference between synovitis and arthritis? So in, uh, Basic in question. In, uh, synovitis, uh, it will be acute. So, uh, the arthritis it will be? Acute stage. Sir. It is the stage huh? one, sir. No, no. Clinically, how will you differentiate between synovitis and arthritis? Sir, if it's a synovitis, then uh, it will be in flexion, abduction and external rotation position. And if it's arthritis, then it will be in flexion, internal rotation and adductor position. That is very severe when it is in the advanced stage. Synovitis... There will be a uniaxial range of movement will be free. Whereas in arthritis, all movements are restricted and painful. Arshad, am I right? Yeah, in synovitis, there will be one range of motion which will be free. Free. You can pull one range of, at least one range of One uniaxial range of movement will be free. Whereas in arthritis, all movements are restricted and painful. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Yes, Proceed. Yes. No. Any other things you have examined apart from the hip in this patient? Um, so there is a um, exaggerated lumbar order system. Okay. Anything else? And uh, that's it. Without that, the examination is not complete. Sir, sacroiliac joint. Let's see. No. No. Have you examined the abdomen? Yes, sir. Huh? Speak I loudly. Have, I can't yes, hear sir. you. Yes, sir. I have examined. For what? 
if there is any um, uh, i mean uh, there is a test sir uh, in which uh, we uh, do uh, in we do the internal and external rotation of the uh, thigh uh, so we can see if there is any contraction of the abdominal muscles Oh, no. some dis don't make some discoveries huh? in this patient if you have not examined abdomen in MS orthopedic exam you are out yes. that means you don't know the basic anatomy more so when you are telling you are coming to the diagnosis of tuberculosis Harshad, yes sir yes sir mm -hmm. absolutely right Where does the hip drain? Lymph nodes, sir, is asking. Uh, so, uh, lymph nodes and paragative lymph nodes and paragative Hip Inguinal. never Inguinal. drains into inguinal lymph nodes. <laughs> no, hip drains in paragative lymph nodes. So, you have to palpate always the abdomen to rule out if there are any palpable paraortic lymph nodes or if there is any mass or an abscess. Okay. Yes, sir. What is the gait of the patient? Uh, so, the gait of the patient is antalgic uh, bipedal assisted gait, sir. Sure, huh? Yes, yes, sir. The you said patient is walking with walker. Yes, sir. Which, which is walking you said with patient is walking with walker. Yes, sir. Assisted gait. What is antalgic gait? How do you know? How do you differentiate it from short limb gait or sir, uh, doctor antal... weakness? No, no, sir. No, it is a short limb gait, sir. So how do you differentiate? The question is not what she has. I am asking you, how do you differentiate between the two? Sir, we will uh, see if there is uh, we, uh, in Antalgic gait, the stance face is uh, uh, reduced and the swing face is increased. Where does the body swing to in antalgic gait? Same side of pain or opposite side of pain? Um, in antalgic gait, it will go to the opposite side. No. Why it will go to the same side? It goes on the same side. Why? All right. Chalo, hai. We can read this up as sir said. We can proceed, Please. sir. Now tell the diagnosis. Uh, so my patient, uh, 41 year old female uh, with uh, pain in uh, right hip for two years and uh, with difficulty in walking since one and a half years with a uh, flexion deformity of 30 degrees and abduction deformity of 20 degrees, uh, uh, which can, uh, I would like to give a diagnosis of uh, right hip arthritis secondary to Fox. Uh, right hip arthritis secondary to tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. Okay. What is the age of the patient? The 41 year old. 41 year old. Okay. Any other differential you want to keep? Mm. Or only tuberculosis? What is the deformity described in stage of arthritis? In stage of arthritis, sir, there will be uh, flexion, adduction and internal rotation. But you have abduction no? in, in external rotation. In stage 1, sir, it will be flexion, abduction and uh, external rotation. Stage 1. What do you like to do? Chalo, move ahead. What do you How like Stage 1. I would like to get uh, uh, her uh, blood investigations to be done. I will send the CBC, ESR, and CRP, sir. Why uh, will you send CRP? Sir, if it's an uh, active uh, infection, yes, uh, sir. CRP will be on the higher side. Do you think so it is active? 
No, sir. This is then why you want to utter? You want to do complete blood count and ESR. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now you any other investigation? I would like to, to do. I would like to do X-rays. Yeah, so uh, let's focus the X-rays now. Latest X-rays. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can please send the patient. Yes. Re X ray scan. Hello, fast. Other residents, please help him. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Are first put the X-rays, na? Yes. What X-rays you will advise in this patient, sir? I will advise uh, for a uh, uh, pelvis with both hips if he enter posterior views. That's all. No other X-rays, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is the X-ray. Focus it and read the start reading the X-ray. Uh, so this is the plain radiograph of uh, the uh, pelvis, so uh, anterior posterior view. Uh, sir, uh, the uh, this is the right sided. Uh, 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 there is decreased joint space uh, in the right hip, in the right hip joint. There is a osteo uh, scler margins of the acetabulum are sclerous, and uh, so there is diffuse osteopenia, and uh, and uh, sir, uh, the uh, the trabeculae of the head of the femur are um, decreased on the right side, whereas on the left side. Uh, It is normal. Normal. There it is. In screen show, na full screen usko. Niche, niche, right. Click. Don't talk about the trabecular and get into problem. What is the what is the sinks classification? Trabecular, for osteoporosis. Hmm. 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 अरे बोलो मैं तो चलो आगे सर आई डोंट नो ओके सो रीड द एक्सरे दैट इज ऑल द फाइंडिंग्स ऑन दिस एक्सरे सर एंड द जॉइंट स्पेस इज रिड्यूस द मार्जिन्स आर इरेगुलर ऑफ द एसिटाबुलम एंड द हेड ऑफ द फीमर देयर इज अ स्क्लेरोसिस सीन सो हियर What has happened to the head? Is it normal or deformed? So head is uh, deformed. Deformed. So that you are supposed to comment. What has happened to the sentence line? So the the sentence line is um, uh, is uh, absent, sir. It is it is not intact. It is distorted. It is, it is distorted. Or is the X-ray in rotation? That's why it is looking like that. Yes. Okay. What has happened to the left sacroiliac joint? Is it normal or it is sclerosis? Sir, it is uh, sclerosis. Then who is Sec going to tell examiner? How will you manage yes. now this patient? You have examined the patient. You have seen the X-ray. Now how will you proceed? What are your principles of treatment in treating this patient? Um, sir, first uh, um, I would like to uh, do a 
biopsy for this patient, sir. Hmm. I'll I'll get an MRI My, also. I mean, before doing biopsy, I'll do an MRI. You will do MRI. Do we have the MRI? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, Joydeep. Jaldi lagao MRI. So this is the MRI of the uh, both hips, sir. Uh, this is the right side and this is left side. This is T2 weighted image, sir. Uh, there is a, uh, a marrow edema seen over the uh, head of the femur, sir. Marrow edema here, and uh, here there is a. फाइंडिंग्स ऑफ Yes. Show. Sure, I would no? like to show the other. No, yes. I would like to show other. This is sir T two T one better image. Ah. Uh, okay. Hey, what will you do now? You have seen the MRI. Why, why can't this be AV? Uh, Sir, uh, the head. Hmm. Sir, in um, sir, in avian, there will be a um, popping over the uh, head. There will be sclerosis seen, sir. There will be sclerosis seen. Hmm. The bowling era changes. So how will you said head changes only? So I'm saying it is avian. How is the estabulum looking? Is there any marrow change in the estabulum also? How is the joint line? Is it irregular? Is there yes, any sir, uh, the weight bearing area? Yes, sir. Uh, the joint line is irregular. The acetabular margins are uh, affected, sir. Hmm. Even on the X-ray, there are there is yes, head is formed, estabulum has cysts in it. So it is a uh, Active process which is involved in estabulum also, so it doesn't involve normally in AVN unless it's a very late stage arthritis. Yes. Yes. Why not RA? How do you differentiate? Now you have to say differential diagnosis, na? No? Sir was asking yes. you, is it arthritis? Is it uh, what is the diag? Is it Cox? So what is the other differential diagnosis? Uh, whether it can also be. Uh, any biogenic infection? Why not? Hello, Sachin. Uh, why is it biogenic or why? It uh, is so, can I ask one question to Sachin? Yeah, you ask. Uh, sir, uh, Sachin, can you can you mention two lines that you need to see on the X-rays? There are two lines. If you want to uh, correlate your position of the head and astrobilum, there are two lines you need to mention. Is there is your yeah, pectoral yeah, 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 line are still intact on X-rays? Is there any protrusion? Okay, and what what else? Yeah. The radio is still the radio is still line is intact, sir. Okay. And what about iliopectineal? It is also intact. Okay. Do you mean it's not a estable protrusion X-rays, right? No. 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 Sir. Oh. Okay. Good. So I would like to uh, do uh, uh, for management. I would like to uh, first do a biopsy. Then uh, once the bi biopsy from the soft tissue which has been affected over the head of the femur, <laughs> uh, so there is collection. So uh, 
I would like to take biopsy from them. Biopsy of collection. Where will you take the biopsy? So bone biopsy, I'll take. Bone biopsy. Do you think it will help in these patients? In this patient, ninety-nine percent of the times you get negative. The report is negative. Once Would you take a synovial biopsy, or will you do a aspiration? No, no. Uh, aspiration, I can do and send it for culture and genetics. No. How will you manage now? Suppose the biopsy report has come as to be tuberculosis, yes, and sir. considering the past history, what will you do, sir? Uh, Mm, I would like to uh, uh, see if it's whether it is uh, resistant to any drug or not. If it's not resistant, then I'll uh, run the um, AKT management. Sir. What AKT management will start? But I think what AKT is done. Sir, uh, uh, sir, patient had stopped uh, one month back. Why has it been stopped? So uh, where she had started the medication, uh, so, so they have uh, stopped it for a reason. Now why do you want to start again then? So once uh, the because uh, as such uh, there is no confirmation whether uh, the medication was the treatment was taken for TB only. So I would like to take a biopsy again and confirm if it's. How will a biopsy help, beta? Sir, if there is any resistance, uh, resistance that already has been done, na? They have checked everything and then started AKT properly, na? Yes, sir. I will for operative management. I will plan for a uh, total hip replacement. Okay, hey, what is first? What you'll do before that when you're starting the AKT? Sir, what sir is asking? Any blood test to do before starting a kidney? Yes, sir. CBC and uh, uh, yes, sir. I'll do. Sir. That is enough for starting a kidney. No, no, sir. LFT, 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 RFT, yes, LFT. तो आंसर ना ये सर सीआरपी का क्या है लेना देना है ये लेफ्ट एक एटीस यस व्हाट इज़ द डोसेज व्हाट इज़ द डोसेज ऑफ़ द आईएनएच रिफ़ैम्पेसिन इतना पलान पारिजना माइड एनी ब्रेड सर फॉर आइसोनिया जा इट इस फाइव एमजी पर केजी देन फॉर रिफ़ैम्पेसिन इट इस टेन एमजी एंड देन फॉर पारिजना माइड इट इस Twenty-five, and uh, for uh, uh, it's important. It is fifteen. But we are supposed to uh, assume twenty-five milligram for your body weight. Okay, okay. But for for patient's body. Ah, so tell me. Answer complete. Do it. Twenty-five milligram. According to the patient. Per kg uh, for patient's body weight. According to the patient's body weight. What are the drugs to be given in MDR TB? Uh, so for uh, uh, we'll start with the uh, uh, levofloxacin. Second line drugs will be uh, levofloxacin, linezolid, panamacin, uh, then uh, lofazimin and uh, moxifloxacin. So moxifloxacin, which is commonly used. So right now, uh, betaquirin is uh, used for. Uh, India to be only beta coagulin or it has to be given with it any other. Be, it has to be started with uh, uh, levofloxacin, lofazimin. We we'll give this also. So you will start AKT today and operate tomorrow. No, no, sir. No, no, sir. We wait. We wait for two months. Then we'll 
Uh, get the fresh X-ray done. Yeah. Any role of traction? Yes, sir. We we have to give traction also. And who will say that? First, you have to give a which tra what traction you will give? Skin skin traction will give. Will okay. Will give on one side or both sides? On both sides, sir. So that uh, it is. Okay. You have to tell the properly. You have to talk properly. When you traction, start A K T. Who is you are not talking? Yes. Ah. Which replacement you will do? Yes, sir. If yes. you are for total hip replacement, yes, sir. Which surgery? What type of joint you will use? I am not able to hear. Yes. Not even. Have we understood the question? No, no, sir. I am not able to. I was not able to hear. Yes. If you are planning to do a hip replacement, yes, sir. What will you do? Which type of total hip you will do? Um, sir, I will plan for uh, uh, ceramic on ceramic total hip replacement. That is not a question, Ray. Right? Question was cemented or uncemented. It's not a simple question. Hai. Cemented. I will use cemented. उटेस You see, your answer, na, Sachin is not uh, matching the question only. Yeah, I asked you why not cemented or why cemented and not uncemented. You said because the implant will back out. मुझे क्या है? And why will it back out? Then you change your mind and said loosen. What will loosen? Cemented will loosen or uncemented will loosen? Uncemented will loosen. Why? So because of the infection, the uh, the wound. The infection is under control. You have taken two months AKT. You have done all uh, precautions. If there is an infection, you anyway don't do. So if there is any osteoporosis, then uh, 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 there are. The implant won't be. The osteoporosis is the cause, or infection is the cause. She is forty-one year old, right? Yes. Suppose inf. Suppose totally replacement cannot be done. What are yes, the sir. other options? So we can do uh, if she wants a. Uh, uh, we can either do is girdle stone uh, arthroplasty, sir. In What is girdle stone? Uh, in this, uh, uh, we uh, remove the femoral head and the neck part with the trochanteric uh, line, and uh, we rim the acetabulum floor, and then uh, we keep the patient in traction for uh, uh, two months, sir. What will happen then? So there will be pseudo arthrosis uh, at that joint. So there will be pseudo arthrosis, and patient can have a, a painless. Uh, 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 there will be fibrosis, so patient will uh, patient can can have a painless, unstable head, which will be mobile. What will that be called? It's called ankylosis. It is not called pseudo arthrosis. Yes. 
what are other options uh, sir we can also do uh, arthrodesis hmm. what is the position uh, for arthrodesis the position for arthrodesis the 20 degree uh, external flexion and then we keep it in external rotation Twenty degrees of flexion and external rotation. Why do Suppose you keep in flexion? So because the so that uh, no, that is the most uh, because in that position the patient will be uh, relaxed. फ्यूजिंग इतना रिलैक्स का क्या संबंध है मतलब मेंटली रिलैक्स्ड और फिजिकली रिलैक्स इन दैट पोजिशन पेशेंट कैन डू द मूवमेंट्स ऑल्सो आई मीन सेक्शन अरे बढ़िया फ्यूजिंग अरे फ्यूज सी सचिन ऑल दीज आर नॉट क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर सडनली कमिंग टू माय माइंड दे आर ऑल स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन दैट यस स्टैंडर्ड आंसर उतना तो मालूम मांगता है ना तुमको वाई इन ट्वेंटी डिग्री फ्लेक्शन वाई इन अबडक्शन वाई इन एक्सटर्नल रोटेशन यू रीड अप सचिन नाउ इट्स टाइम नाउ थैंक डॉक्टर आर्गेकर टू स्पेंड इज वैल्यूएबल टाइम थैंक यू सर आस्किंग क्वेश्चन टू दोज ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट्स and i also thank professor dar professor uh, shetty and uh, professor butala and organizers dr ashok sham and ortho tv and of course punam the host <coughs> for this case presentation thank, thank you all and good night good night sir good night thank you <coughs>